another video. Uh, it's been a while, but um, it's been a while because we were in transition, we had vacation, so now we're back on track. Uh, I want to introduce to you something very exciting that uh, it's going to be a short video today, but it's going to be just an introduction on virtual reality. And that's something new that we're starting. Uh, actually, we started it a while back, um, a couple months ago, but now it's when we've actually finished the installation of all the uh, equipment and the process of learning all the uh, software. Um, just to get you an idea, uh, some of you are, have experienced VR or some of you have experienced 360 degrees videos. There's a difference between VR and 360 degree videos. First of all, one of the things that uh, you should be aware of is that we have a uh, camera, uh, the Samsung. It's the uh, Samsung 360. Uh, make note of that. Uh, it's a camera that shoots, has two lenses, uh, as you can see here. Uh, it has a, uh, a lens in the front and a lens in the back. What it does is it captures a full 360 degrees video. Uh, the problem with that is that whenever you shoot a scene, you have to make sure that you're not in the room. Um, because the camera person will come out all the time. So if it's a scene where you don't want to be included as the an actor or something, then you need to leave the room and film the scene. Now, th those are 360 degree videos. Uh, usually the camera doesn't move much. The camera is just set up in the middle of the room and then the acting begins. Um, it's important to take advantage of the fact that you're using a 360 camera. So um, making sure that there's some type of activity going on maybe in different locations at different times. So that's important. This is a completely different uh, concept of what you've been used to. Uh, normally, when we shoot with a video camera, we tell the audience where to look at. We actually frame our shots and we tell them where to look at. In this case, there's actually very little framing because it's capturing the entire room in a 360 degree video. So after that is uh, videotaped and shot, uh, you could do different scenes um, or just one scene, okay, in one room. The way that it works is it stitches. Uh, you have to stitch it. Uh, what do I mean by that? I mean by that that you get the 180 degree video that it shoots in the front with the front lens and then you get the other 180 degree video that shoots at the other uh, end of the camera. Actually it's shot all together. It just looks kind of strange on camera when you actually look at it. Uh, you have to basically get this software called stitching software and it'll basically stitch it for you in a 360 degree video. So that's 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 that and uh, a lot of times when you use those Google Cardboards, I don't know if you've seen those, but they basically are to look at that and you look around and you can see 360 degrees. Now VR is a little different. VR is uh, the difference between VR and um, and 360 degrees videos is that you can create a VR world but not even have or own a 360 degree camera. Why? Because you can shoot with a traditional camera and have the, the, the uh, let's say an interview and have a TV floating in space and then you'll have maybe <clears throat> to the left of you um, some pictures that are going through a slideshow. So of course at that point you have to decide am I going to look at the at the uh, interview, if I look straight ahead, or am I going to look to the side and look at the slideshow? That's the decisions that you have to make when you put together a story like this. Or you may have it at different points. Um, but the person has to know that something is happening on the side of them or in the back of them because they won't turn their head. So they may be looking at a blank screen and all of a sudden you hear someone talking, maybe it's an interview, but it's coming from the back. So you have to be careful, you have to plan it well so that if you want a person to see something and you don't want them to miss it, they'll be looking at the right place. Um, but th those are some of the, of the things. So storytelling basically changes a little bit. Uh, it changes the whole thing. Um, one of the things that you have to decide is how long do you want it to be. Usually the experience, if you want someone to experience something, uh, you know, three to five minutes is a good number, uh, probably keeping it closer to three minutes. 
That's that's a good number. Uh, another thing is try to avoid zooming in and zooming out so much. Um, and I'm not talking about zooming in and zooming out. Basically, in your for in your in your actual video, like you if you did like an interview or something like that. I mean, in, in regular normal situations, you really don't want to zoom in and zoom out all the time. Okay, it's not a, a practice that we follow. Uh, you know, zooming in and zooming out should not be something that you're doing. But what I'm saying is moving the camera too much, that causes nausea. So if, you know, you don't want to get the person sick. And the nausea, let me tell you, it lasts for a while. Um, all it takes is a little bit of a movement to get you off center. And then what happens is you'll, you'll have to take it off the, the headset and you'll be sick for a little bit. I mean, we're not talking about, you know, throwing up or anything like that. I mean, as long as you take it off. But it does get you kind of um, a little bit, it gets you sick. And it, get, and it lasts. It lasts for about maybe 30, 45 minutes or so. Uh, I've experienced it. Uh, so those are one of the things that you have to watch out for. So this has just been a little bit of an introduction. It's not much. But just to give you a, a little bit of an idea, some of the programs that we'll be using in VR are going to be Unreal Engine, and we'll explain to you what that is. Uh, another one is called Unity, uh, Pro Builder, and Cinema Director. Those are some of the programs that we'll be using. Uh, if you want to know what, what um, Unity is, Unity is basically is a 3D program that allows you to create... Um, a virtual world, a virtual experience within the parameters of the 360 degrees. So it's um, it's it's like your Adobe Premiere for traditional video editing uh, is what Unity is. Also, Unreal Engine is the same. So we'll talk a little bit about that. This is just a short introduction, get you started on it, and uh, the next video will give you a little bit more of an insight. And, and a step-by-step -step of how to create an actual video uh, or an actual experience, I should say. Thank you very much. Take care.